Guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Review, where we take a look at tech, tech tips, and how-to videos. Today, as the title states, we'll be looking at installing macOS Mojave on an early 2011 MacBook Pro. Now, why is this video worthy? Well, Mojave does not support the early 2011 MacBook Pro. Now, I've never been the guy to update without good reason. The only way I'd update is if the newer version had a couple of awesome features or security patches. Otherwise, if it ain't broke, I won't mess with it. I mean, we're living in a time where updates are not what they once were. I mean, I can't begin to name the different products that I've updated the software for that turned out to be disastrous. And one company stands out as notorious for releasing software updates that are far from ready. Now, I never intended on updating to Mojave because for one, they weren't officially supported on my Mac. But now that I have my sweet Hackintosh as my main source for video editing, I decided to use this old faithful as a test subject for the unofficial Mojave install. Now remember, any hack you perform on your equipment is at your own risk. So please be aware that this can potentially brick your Mac. If this makes you uneasy because you still rely heavily on your old Mac, then don't go through with it. But that being said, let us start by gathering what we need. First off, we need an 8GB or more flash drive, macOS Mojave of course, macOS Mojave Patcher from DOS Dude 1, and an older Apple computer not supported by Mojave. Side note, there is a compatibility list for the uh, Mojave Patcher, so check to make sure your Mac is supported. A general guideline is that anything from 2008 will work, anything older than 2008 will not. First step is to get your flash drive ready. Go ahead and change the partition table to master boot record, then format it to macOS journaled. Download the Mojave Patcher from DOS Dude's One website and download Mojave from the App Store on your Mac. Although your Mac is not supported, you should still be able to download it. Or if you have another Mac, you can use that. Open the Mojave Patcher and select the location of your Mojave installer. Then make sure that you select the volume of your flash drive and click start operations. Creating the bootable flash drive will take some time, it took about 10 to 20 minutes for me. After it's completed, turn off your computer and turn it back on holding the alt option key. You'll be shown some drives that are bootable. Select the flash drive. And congratulations. The hard part is over. You have successfully booted into Mojave. On the bottom left, there is a utility window. Click on this utility. We need to reformat your hard drive. Format it as a Mac OS journal. After the format it is completed, reboot your Mac, and once again, hold down the option key, and then boot into your flash drive. When the Mojave installer boots up, you can go through the installation process. This will take a total of about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your Mac. After the installation is complete, the Mojave boots up with no issues. Reboot your Mac once again, hold down the option key, and boot into your flash drive. Look at the utility window on the bottom left and select Mac OS Post Install. It should automatically identify your Mac, but if it doesn't, you can select it from the drop down box. The Post Install is basically all the drivers or KECs that are needed for Mojave to function properly. After the Post Install is completed, click on Reboot and let your Mac boot into Mojave. You will notice two command line screens. First one isn't that long but the second one can take a minute before your Mac boots up. Don't worry though, your Mac didn't freeze. When it boots up, just run the patch updater and enjoy new life in your old Mac. So what are some things I've noticed? Well, almost everything works. Almost. Well, most of everything works. Sound, graphic, mic, function keys, keyboard, touchpad, App Store, Siri, AirPlay, and iMessage, they all work. The only thing that I've noticed that doesn't work is the webcam. It can be activated by an app because I can see the green light by the camera come on, but the app shows no image and it displays that message, no image found. For me, it's not a big deal. Since I've had this laptop, must have used the camera twice. That's twice in eight years. But your mileage may vary though. The webcam might work for you. For the most part, operation is smooth. The Mac functions like a new Mac. OS is quick and snappy, and I'm obsessed with dark mode. It's probably the feature I wanted most. I just installed a new battery, and now I have Mojave. 
So let's see if I can squeeze another eight more years out of it. But yeah, if your Mac is struggling to keep up and you want to breathe new life into it, try out this hack if you're feeling brave. I'm happy with my results. As a matter of fact, a transcript for this video was typed out on this old Mac now running Mojave. Now Mojave updates will not work. It will end up bricking your Mac because although your computer is a Mac, it's essentially a Hackintosh after this hack. And like Hackintosh, you want to stay far away from updates. So if your old Mac is your daily driver, again, think twice before experimenting. As always, give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. If you didn't and you found it terrible, thumbs down work also. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.